This week in 1920, 104 years ago, the deadline for registering to vote in St. Louis's special bond issue election was approaching. And the question was, would women for the first time be allowed to vote? The 19th Amendment was just two states short of ratification. Missouri and Illinois had been early ratifiers in 1919. That's Missouri Governor Frederick Gardner signing the ratification. A year later, Washington and Delaware could put it over the top any day now. But here was the problem. Only men were being allowed to register. But what if women got the right to vote after the registration deadline, but before the May 11th bond issue vote? Would the results be valid? There was talk about delaying the election, allowing women to register anyway, maybe having male and female ballot boxes in case the votes were challenged. Turns out, while Washington state approved, the Delaware legislature voted down women's suffrage. And it wouldn't be until August that Tennessee became the 36th state needed for ratification, in time for women to vote in the 1920 presidential and all other elections. But they missed out on the bond issue that spring in Missouri. The city was ready to let them vote, but just couldn't legally allow them to register. This week in St. Louis and women's history, 104 years ago. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.